time to start building the pack. I'm now going to be sorting all of my cells. This is all my good cells. This changes, it spreads from about uh, 1 amp hour down there to about 2 points, 2.3 amp hours at that end there. I'm going to be organising these now into essentially one long line from there to there in terms of their capacity. Uh, and then organising them into packs, groups of cells from there, hopefully that end up fairly even. And I've yet to decide how many, uh, or what sort of capacity I want um, based on the number of cells. So it's either going to be um, uh, six in parallel or seven in parallel times two. Uh, I'm going to be making two packs. I've decided to go for a 13 series and either six or seven parallel times two. So each one of those packs will obviously be put in parallel uh, to, to um, power the bike. I've decided to do it that way because I've got enough cells to make one huge pack, but I could make two smaller ones out of it and simply connect them in parallel. Um, this I feel will be better because if I don't want to have to use two packs, I don't need to. I can just charge one of them, just go for a short ride maybe on one pack. Um, it means I've got a backup pack if I need to, if one destroys itself. Um, I've got a second pack at least to get me some distance down the road. So I'll start sorting through these now. Now they're all sorted out. The total number of cells here is uh, 182. This will give me two packs of 13 series and seven parallel. And they're ordered from here at the highest. And they move down that way. And then starting again from there. And they move down and then there and then there. And they end up at the lowest there. So what I'll be doing now is just the same as all the other YouTube videos you've seen is take one from that end and one from that end and slowly work my way and do, do that and make piles out of them and do that all the way through until I end up with ones in the middle here that I'll be taking from. That should give me balanced packs roughly. I can do some fine tuning later but if I take the highest first with the lowest and keep doing that in over and over I should end up with roughly balanced packs. So there's nine ready to go. I'll just shift these out of the way so you can see the rest of the process. And there's another nine, clear them off to the side. I miscounted. Damn it. Unless one of these packs is out. Can't see any that are. If you can, shout please. Nope, I can't. I miscounted. Damn it, that's really annoying. Okay, fine. So I've got to make a home for this 1640 milliamp hour cell. I'll fit that in uh, where it's needed. Take out one of my uh, lowest ones. I'm going to add up all the amp hours on each one of the uh, 26 cells, groups of cells that I've got here now to find out firstly what my uh, amp hour will be uh, per per pack and then write them on a piece of paper. I'm going to try and balance them up a little bit more um, try and swap some cells in between them if they're a little bit out at the moment and that process will hopefully enable me to get rid of this one rogue cell um, which is a little bit annoying to have to have that. So I'm going to go through that process now this is a representation of the layout of all of these groups of cells here. I've turned the numbers up on all of them and added them up with the calculator and written them down here so I can get an idea of uh, their capacities all compared to each other. Now, most of these down in this section here are very well balanced. They're all sort of 11, 2, 3, 4, that kind of, I, sort of range. Um, these are the least balanced up here. Uh, because I did these in order from here, 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 that way, all the way down to there. And the way I started, of course, the way you do it is you take one from the uh, the 
the highest capacity and then one from the lowest capacity. So these show quite a variation in ranges at 12, 3, uh, 7, 1, and then 10, 8, 8, 6. So uh, there's most variation as you keep going down here. And the further down here you get, the least varied they are, because these ones here were all picked from the middle of the pack. Um, and for example, if I show you some of these, the numbers on them, they're all very similar numbers. But yeah, up here, I've got huge variation. Lots of them over two, and lots of them are only just over one, because that's the way I did it. So all the packs are quite similar, and I will now need to go through the slow, boring process of uh, very slightly changing the packs to make them even better. For the most part, I'm not going to need to worry about these here. They're very even. It's just to change, to pull that one down a little bit, pull that one up a little bit, for example. That one needs to go up a little bit. Uh, that one's at 10, just, just shy of uh, 11. Um, so I need to pull some of these up, some down. I'll just rework some of them. And hopefully I'll get that rogue cell in there somewhere. Should be easy enough to do. And then I'll have all my pack done. I won't show you this process because uh, it's extremely boring. But really it's just a case of finding the difference, finding a, a, a low one, finding a high one, swapping, let's say, one particular cell between the two of them and trying to bring the numbers all in line. I'm not going to go too far with this. Um, I've only got so much time and I've only got so much care. I just want to get it roughly right. And I can see clearly my average is around 11, 2, 3 or 4 ish, as you can see these ones here. So provided I can get these rogue ones up here somewhere in this region, that will be fine. That'll be enough. I can already see that because my average is around about, let's say, 11.3, give or take, I can work that out later, um, that will be my, that'll be each pack of 13 in series and 7 in parallel will give me about 11.3 amp hours. So I'll be having two of them, of course, in, in series. So I should have around about 21 to 22 amp hours uh, out of my pack at 48 volts for the e-bike. Uh, hopefully that'll give me a decent range. The packs are now better balanced in terms of their capacity. It's taken me a little while and a bit of fiddling to get through it, and some needed more than others, as you can see. But if you can see what I've written down there, you'll be able to see the, uh, the difference I've made. Is the camera to focus slightly? Low light conditions in here, sorry. Anyway, the point is now that most of these are around about 11.3 to 11.4 amp hours. So there's my packs. That's what it's ended up being, 11.3 to 11.4 roughly. I'm not going any further with this now. It's, um, I'm just fighting over small pieces now. It's no point. This is as good as it's going to get for me. So that's that now. Uh, my next stage will be soldering these together and making all of my packs uh, and, and two total battery packs.